Well, the Lakers got together with the Warriors a few days ago in what should have been a much anticipated showdown between LeBron James and Steph Curry. Following those reports that the Warriors were allegedly interested in trading for James to pair with Curry. Instead, though, LeBron sat out nursing his fake ankle injury, but he was healthy enough to play the very next night to stat pad against the San Antonio Spurs, who are coincidentally the worst team in the Western Conference. But in that Warriors-Lakers game, something else happened that is now garnering the wrong kind of attention for the Lakers and the league as a whole. This graphic flashed up during the game, illuminating the vast differential in free throws attempted by the Lakers versus their opponents this season as compared to the differential for the other league leaders. And much to the shock of, well, nobody, the Lakers are being gifted a lot of free throws, like a lot more than anyone else. Their plus 325 is nearly twice as many as the second team on that list, which is the Phoenix Suns, who have shot only 181 more than their opposition. It's a complete crap. And this intel really shouldn't come as much of a surprise as the Lakers led the NBA in free throw discrepancy a year ago as well, shooting 476 more than their opponents for the regular season in 2022-2023. And things got really absurd once LeBron slithered his way into the postseason, with the Lakers easily leading the playoffs a year ago in free throw discrepancy, outshooting all three of their opponents on the way to the Western Conference Finals, taking 121 more free throw attempts than they gave up. And this, mind you, was in only 16 total games. It's a complete crap. With the height of absurdity coming in the second round against Golden State, where in a six-game series, the Lakers shot 160 free throws to the Warriors' 80. What? Yes, doubling them in attempts. The massive free throw disparity this season comes despite the fact the Lakers really don't go to the basket much as they are currently 29th out of 30 teams in drives to the basket per game. They are above only the Denver Nuggets and shockingly though, the Nuggets shoot the fourth fewest free throws per game this season. And while this is just the most tangible and direct effort of the league's pathetic push, for whatever reason, to try to cling on to the relevancy of LeBron James, it begs the question, why? As the Lakers and Warriors both got 40 nationally televised games this regular season. 40. That is nearly half of their 82-game schedule, and it is 10 more than the defending NBA champion Denver Nuggets, who only got 30 national games, along with the Celtics, Bucks, and Suns. The Celtics and Bucks, of course, who have perennially traded off best record in the NBA designation the last few years. But the Lakers, and Warriors for that matter, have both been dreadful ass as of late, with Golden State finishing as just the sixth seed in the West last year, and the Lakers finishing as just the seventh seed, while both are currently occupying the ninth and tenth seeds in the conference en route to what will likely be a play-in tournament berth for both. All of this amid the hilarious and embarrassing continued tanking of ratings and overall popularity for the NBA as viewership continues to plummet to new lows. The last time LeBron was in a final series, you know, that preseason exhibition tournament disguised as an NBA championship on the Disney campus in Orlando, Florida. And I want my damn respect too. Yeah, that one. Well, it became just the second final series in the last 25 years to not register 10 plus million viewers for a single game. That series got only 46 million viewers total in all six games combined. For comparison's sake, in 1998, when Jordan won his sixth and final title, yeah, that one got 36 million viewers in just the game six alone. The only other series to not register at least 10 million viewers for even a single game of a series over the last 25 years was, of course, LeBron's 
first finals appearance against the Spurs. Under LeBron's watch, we have now ushered in humiliating low points like All-Star Games getting 5 million viewers and Christmas Day Games getting less than 2 million. If the NBA knew what was good for itself, they would be trying to cut ties with LeBron, not align with him more. The only saving grace for the league this season is that it doesn't appear that the Lakers will have a lengthy playoff run. And that is regardless of how many cheap and undeserving free throws they are gifted.